Hey guys, Green Guitar Guy here, and welcome back to another update from our Lego City. In today's video, we're gonna be building Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. All right, let me start off by saying that when LEGO first released Diagon Alley, I was not really a huge Harry Potter fan, uh, but I thought the set looked really cool, and I could definitely picture like fitting this set somewhere into our city. Um, and to be honest, like I haven't really seen any of the Harry Potter movies or read any of the books, and this got me curious, so I ended up watching the first movie, and I kind of got hooked. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been watching the movies, I ended up watching all nine, and they are pretty cool. Um, so I actually ended up enjoying them, and I might be a bit of a Harry Potter fan now. Um, so going back to Diagon Alley, originally I was thinking like, hey, maybe I could just buy a lot of these parts and kind of mock up my own shops using Diagon Alley like for inspiration. Um, like these cool rounded windows, and some of the fronts of the shops just look just look really good um, and honestly by the time I go and buy the parts and then spend time trying to figure out how I want the buildings to look um, I kind of figured out it's actually gonna be cheaper for me and easier for me just to like buy the sets because I really like the looks of the buildings uh, I really like the facades of the different shops and they've got this like great kind of old town vibe to them I've mentioned before in some of our other videos that I love the Lego castle theme as a kid and I love seeing like ancient cities on travel shows so that's kind of what we're going for in our Lego city like an ancient fortified city kind of melded together with new and the Diagon Alley shops will definitely fit with that more like historic sections of the city. So let's get to the time lapse.
All right, we want to do a quick shout out to Original JK555, Brooks Bricks, Justin Spears, and Juliet Watchsmith. They all found Carmen San Diego in the surf shop video update. Uh, she was hanging from a rope off the Security Mutual building. If you find Carmen San Diego in this video, comment below and we'll give you a shout out in the next update video. All right, so we finished the build and it looks awesome. Uh, as you can see, this is just a huge build. Um, it covers four half base plates. How many pieces were on it, Emily? 5,544 pieces. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, it, and this took us, I don't know, it was, it's over two weeks that we've been working on this. Um, we've been doing a little bit in the evenings, um, doing a little bit on the weekends, on Saturdays and stuff. And uh, yeah, so it's taken us a little bit of, a little bit of time. Um, man, the stickers look, there's a ton of stickers for this set. There was like, there's a, a sticker sheet for each building, but man, they just look great. I, I love just how much they add to the set. There's so much just like life and stuff in this and the characters are, are really cool. Uh, so we'll just take a quick look at each of the buildings. All right, so first up, let's take a look at Ollivanders and Scribulus. Um, so these are two different shops all on the same base plate. Um, Ollivanders is the uh, the maker of fine wands, and uh, Scribulus is a uh, like a quill shop. Out front, I just I love the design of the um, of the like the front windows and stuff with the I don't know just the rounded how they how they pop out from the building. The same with Scribulus, um, and the colors are great. I like that dark blue. They just look like a really cool. Um, um, just a cool design for uh, for an old section of the city. And looking inside, um, really cool. The uh, this so the stairs open out here over in Ollivanders. Under the stairs, it's got like a whole bunch of wand boxes. You can see boxes on on both floors, just uh, floor to ceiling. So it's really cool how it just looks like it's just packed with uh, different things. And then over here at Scribulus, on this wall we've got um, like shelves, like a wall full of different quills and ink wells. And then I guess maybe there's maybe they sell like paper and stuff for for those needs as well. Upstairs above Scribulus, they've got a cool uh, cool couch build. I don't think I've seen that done before. Might steal that for some interior builds. All right, so next up is Quality Quidditch Supplies and the Daily Prophet. Uh, the Daily Prophet is the newspaper and uh, Quidditch is like a game that's played in the Harry Potter world, kind of like, I don't know, football and... Soccer. Soccer, right. A whole bunch of those different games all combined with flying. But uh, this is a pretty cool building. Um, I like the looks of the, uh, of the outside. Again, the windows are pretty cool. So down below here, um, we've got a new, I think they're new at least, uh, it's a one by two by five brick um, that's trans clear. And they've got... Um, window pane print. Yeah, window pane print on the front of it. And so you can kind of make a window as, as large as you like. Um, so this one's eight long and that one's four. Um, but they just, they look pretty cool and then they, uh, they turn some of these uh, cheese slopes on the side to kind of make it look like it's rounded there. Um, and then this whole facade is actually on an angle, um, which, which looks really cool and obviously slants the roof. On um, the second floor, what color is this, Em? Pink. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't personally have chosen this color myself, but I think I'm all right with it kind of breaks us out of the mold because I, I would normally just build buildings in the like the gray and the brown kind of family so different colors like pink are not ones that I would choose but that's all right we kind of like some diversity in our city as far as different colors and stuff so this one will definitely stand out but, uh, let's take a look at the inside here the daily profit side it's pretty empty I mean there's just a, there's just a, a case over here of old newspapers and then up, up top there, there's a spider web with a spider on it. And over here at Quality Quidditch Supplies, um, we've got, well, all the things that you would need for, for playing Quidditch. Uh, here in the front window, they've got the uh, Nimbus 2000, I believe that is. Um, looks like they maybe have different shelves of, I, I'm guessing this is different color, like uniforms and stuff. They've got the different bats for, 
for playing Quidditch and moving upstairs, more supplies. Um, it looks like you've got more shelves over here um, of, uh, of different uniforms. And uh, they, we've also got two mannequins here, so they look pretty cool. Next up, we've got Fleury and Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor and Flourish and Blotts. Now, Flourish and Blotts is a bookstore. I really like it because I love to read. And this is probably one of my favorite things. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I actually really like the bookstore a lot, too. It's got this cool old-timey bookstore feel to it with the racks of books out front. And it's cool, like... They didn't just put like different colored books, like they're all different sizes and stuff in there. Um, some of them are sticking out a little further than others and they've got different bindings, so that's pretty cool. Um, we've also got like a new print on the uh, on the windows there, the new, what is, what is that called? Window Emily? pane. Yeah, like a new window pane print on the, uh, I think it's a one by six window. Then out front here we've got like a desk with uh, Gilderoy Lockhart doing like a book signing here. This is pretty cool. He's got his quill and uh, we put a little cup there. He must be drinking some tea. And then uh, next door here we've got the ice cream parlor and pretty cool like little uh, table and chair set. So I think they took the, I think it's like an animal tooth that they took and they put upside down to make the legs of the chairs and that just looks really cool. So let's turn it around, we'll take a look inside. All right, so the stairs fold down, and then uh, over here we've got uh, just a, a floor-to-ceiling bookcase full of books. Uh, in front of that we've got uh, just a stack of different books being sold here. The top one's kind of on, a, on an angle being displayed in the window. And then looking upstairs here, we've got another cool uh, tile with uh, flourish and blots on it. Um, there's a book that's open here in front of the window. Got some more books stacked there and another another bookcase. That looks pretty cool. Then moving over here to Fortescue's Ice Cream, we've got a sticker on the wall with, uh, with all of their ice cream special. Um, today's suggestions, uh, chocolate with peanut butter, uh, black beer and raisin, and bat juice and earwig. So some interesting combinations there. And over on this side, they've got like a wall with the different uh, cups for uh, for making ice cream sundaes. And then upstairs, they've got just a cool, really like just a simple design, um, like a table and uh, like an armchair with a lamp. All right, so our last build here is the Weasley Brothers business, which is... Weasley's Wizard Weezes! Yeah, and then we've also got uh, a facade over here to the left um, for Nocturne Alley. These are definitely very colorful buildings. They look pretty cool. Um, as far as architectural style, like I love the I love the curves um, of the different like the windows and stuff. They look great. The um, the moldings and stuff around them they they pop out and the stickers on them and it just looks fantastic. Um, Emily, do you want to show them the? Uh, they've got the little guy up here and he tips his hat. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Then moving inside the shop, man, it's it looks great in here. There's a lot going on. We've got just shelves just packed full of stuff. Over here we've got a stand with love potions on it. And down here, all, all sorts of different shelves full of boxes and, and colorful things. I really like that there's like caution tape. It looks like caution tape is all stuck over the cash register. Yeah, pretty cool. I like the colors of the uh, the different the railings and stuff, the banisters all the way up through. That looks pretty cool. Very colorful build, and just like packed full of stuff. So it's a lot going on in there. It looks great. All right, taking a quick break from the build. We have a new sig fig joining the city. Please welcome with us Papa's Bricks. Papa's Bricks is a fellow YouTuber and he is building an awesome Lego city. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel so you guys can check it out. He also sent along these awesome poly bags for the kids and they can't wait to open them and get them built. And really, who am I kidding? I can't wait to build them too. Thanks so much, buddy. So as we were thinking through where we would put Diagon Alley, uh, looking over here at this section of the city, uh, we actually have five uh, base plates that are free right up here above the boardwalk. So it just kind of makes sense that they would go right here. Um, at least for now, but this will probably be their permanent home. 
Um, this is kind of an older part of the city anyway, the, uh, the old retaining walls of the city. Um, and so hopefully it'll fit in, hopefully it'll fit in well in this section. All right, so we've got Diagon Alley in place over here just above the boardwalk, and I really like the looks of it up there. Uh, it's like just wide enough for a walking path, like sidewalk. So there won't be like a street in front of it, but I think that's okay. Uh, I think that kind of fits with the era that we're going for for these buildings. Um, I added one of our spiral trees there in the middle. Um, we actually just did a video tutorial on that. Um, you can check that out on our channel. Uh, I'll actually put a link in the description if you'd like to build one for yourself. I'm not sure if I like that exact placement for it, but I do want some more like greenery in this area. So we're gonna have to play around with that a little bit more. Uh, so let us know what you think, like does it fit well up there um, or should we go back to the drawing board and find a different place for Diagon Alley here in our city. Alright, well that's all we got for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, thumbs subs and comments are always appreciated. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you later. Bye bye. bye.